Identifying talent for sports starts at junior development. For squash and tennis, there is a growing concern that there is not enough players in the development program. A competitive school's competition is important to have school-aged children pick up the rackets and become the next elite core group of squash and tennis players. Because now there's sufficient schools now playing tennis and squash, we're hoping that even if it's end of this year, but maybe beginning of next year, we'll be able to have, would have groomed the squash and tennis kids to start having competitions among each other so they can use our facilities to start competing against each other as schools in tennis and squash. So, um, like I said, we need to provide them also the opportunity to compete so then they, they, um, they get better. I mean, they, they can't just train, train. They want to know, oh, I want to be able to compete and be better than that person or be better than that school or, you know, so um, th this is the basis, yeah? We need to teach them and then we eventually get a competition running between schools for tennis and squash and um, we see how we go. I mean, so it's open to any, any, any schools, yeah. Squash and tennis is an exclusive sport, but open to anyone who is willing to learn. And squash director at the Palm Rackets Club, Merlin Alacross, explained the fundamentals of the sport, what needed to be learned in order to understand and become a squash and tennis player. When they come in for this one, we normally give them an or orientation. Um, that's just because, because squash and tennis is, is more like a exclusive sport. It's not like the big team sports where, where um, you can play at your school on the big field. Uh, this is specific specific court type. Uh, so they need to know, they learn where the outside lines are, you know, the green balls and the red balls and um, how the scoring system goes. So the first week is pretty much orientation. Um, the, f the schools will learn, maybe half the class will go tennis, half the class will go squash, but then they do the swap over because they need to, we need to expose them to both. Um, because this club, Port Moser Rackets Club, is, is about squash and tennis. Um, and then it's the handball coordination that needs to come first. <laughs> Last week, Bavaroko Primary and Birdwing Independent Schools took part in the development program. We had 2,300 students actually come through over a period of five days. Um, we've had to tweak it a little bit in order to give the kids the best opportunity in order to learn both tennis and squash. So with Bavaroka we've reduced the numbers a bit um, and we've got it in such a way where they've got six houses, six colours, so we're taking two colours a week and I find that the kids, um, they appreciate it a little bit more because um, obviously they, they have more one-on-one -on -one time with the coaches and therefore learn faster. But yeah, we're managing. What are you Fidelis Sukina National MTV Sports.